If you want to know how bad it's getting in Afghanistan, just step inside Kandahar's main hospital and take a tour of the wards with a Red Cross team of doctors and nurses. The plight of these victims hits the headlines one day then is forgotten the next. The wounds will heal, given time, but the suffering could last a lifetime. 16-year-old Hore was at a wedding party the night it was bombed by the Americans at Shah Walikot. We ran into the garden when the bombing started, but they bombed us there as well. I suddenly realized my foot was in small pieces. I saw my cousin lying dead next to me, the bodies of my relatives all around me. The Americans are like animals. They saw us, they realized we were women. They even shone lights on us. But they kept bombing and their soldiers were firing on us. They were so brutal. Dr. Zabo has seen many conflicts as a Red Cross surgeon, including East Timor and Darfur. Style of the conflicts are changing. It become more brutal, and uh, it's a kind of terrorism. Shamsia was in too much pain and shock to speak to us the day acid was thrown in her face when she was walking to school in Kandahar. But the next day, she was determined to make her voice heard. It's the Taliban that did this. They don't want us to be educated. But we want to go to school. We want to build our country and have a better future. It's not just the victims of warfare whose lives are saved in this hospital. Look at the little five-year-old girl sitting in the bed next to me. Her name is Bakhto in Pashtun. That means lucky. Bakto broke her leg in an accident, but she lives in a remote rural district and it was five months before her parents could save enough money to pay for the trip to this hospital. The bone is now infected. She could face amputation. She told me the doctors are very good here. They give me food and things to play with, she said, but I want to go home. Afghanistan life is, is not easy, as, as probably everyone knows, but I think the life for the women and the children is, is particularly hard. And uh, as winter's coming on, as well as the cold weather comes, you know, just daily survival. Some people live in tents here. It, it's so difficult. The hospital was swamped with casualties when a tanker loaded with explosives was detonated in the city. The suicide bomber was aiming at government officials. But once again, it was civilians who suffered the most. Wounded by shrapnel in the head and neck, this baby has mercifully forgotten the pain for a while and has eyes only for his new toy car. But how many more like him will have to be admitted here before this war is finally over? David Chater, Al Jazeera, Kandahar.